This is Bob Chambers, the Multimedia Guy, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at another action item that is in the Play It software. And so let's just make this uh, button over here into a hotspot. Just dragging it across there, right click, assign the action. Okay, the action we're going to have is way down in Run Script Generator Widget. Click on that, and you can see the first thing we need to do is put in a, a code. A ID for that and uh, we can just sort of make it up there now the next step is to actually add the the script either from a download place which is mean that we would put in a full URL and then the location of the script right in here or we could go over here to browse and find the script inside of our computer and so I'm going to not choose either of those because of the script that I've found instead of having a full download and then to modify it as you can see we have the modifiers right in here mine is only would be in the modifiers themselves so this is you don't have to put things in here you can go ahead and do like this so click here and here you can see if it comes in the header you put it in this window the inbox or the body box after the body box and as you can see there's a whole bunch of different choices here Now let me just go to a website which is this one right here and for those of you who want to see what the, the site is, it's uh, cgiscript.net, and they have quite a few free scripts that you can use, as well as the scripts that they sell. What my script calls for, and this is to print this page, and what it calls for is the code that is in this section in here goes in the header, and then the code down here actually goes on the page and the page is where the person clicks on it to actually print the page okay grab text just click here and then I'm going to whoops let's make sure I get that copy copy the text and now let's go back to my play it section in the header I'm going to paste this information and so I'm just gonna right click and click paste and here you can see that the script has been added the next one is going to be in the body box and let's go back to our page here this is the the body box the information that goes in the body so I click that and then I'm just gonna right click to copy and then I'm gonna go back to this section and paste it in there and so I click OK and I don't like I say I don't have to put in anything there because my script is now totally on this page Let's just move this over so you can see the whole thing. I'm going to click OK. And now this hot box button is live. Let's just uh, save this page. And then we will make our software. And of course, it's going to ask me because I've been making lots of software here. Here is the Play It software that I just created. Click on that, and here's the button. Now, if I click on the button, you see the first thing it says is download the web page to insert the script or select a web page that's in my computer. Now, I've already created a web page. Let me just go over here to show you what the web page looks like. This is my web page, and I left space up in here. Let's see how that is going to work with this. Uh, generator. Oops, we got to go over here. And what I'm going to do is locate that uh, to browse. And uh, we need to browse to where that is located. And um, sometimes I forget where things are. And here's this page. So I'm going to double click that to open it up. So I've opened up the page here, and then I just go here, and let's just move this up so you can see it well. I can insert the scripts, and I click there, and um, there it says that it has created a new page for me, and this is where I would 
then go to locate that because if the script generator does not overwrite the existing page, it creates a new page for you. Let's just click here to preview it. And here is the page that we created. Now here's that that information right there. And this is now, if I click on that, it would normally open up my uh, my print information for the computer. This computer does not happen to be connected to a, a printer, but that's what it would do.